37-1, the Eagle rocks. We are live from BFD, the Jackson Energy Business Cycle. Look who's joined us here on the broadcast stage. Nikki Six, what's up, my man? How are you doing? Most of Six. Since. Yeah. This is so crazy. Isn't this nuts? Yeah, I've been following you on Twitter all week. I uh, saw yesterday we had a, uh, you hit some tickets at a school over yeah, here. Yeah, And a girl found them. So you've been having fun in Dallas for a few days now, yeah, right? Yeah, well, we've been doing all the pre-production. Uh, some version of the band's been here till somewhere between 3 and uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. You know, literally all day, all night, putting this show together. It's the biggest show we've ever done. Bigger, <laughs> bigger than Feel Good, bigger than Carnival of Sins. It's it's unbelievable. It's actually um, a war zone up there on stage. It's it's pretty unbelievable. Where you got to sit down with your band, you go. If you're standing right here during this song, you will die. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like that's the conversation where you go, whoa. Are there okay. are big are there are big X's on the stage? Like, do there, not stand yeah, here. Yeah, there are X's. Stand here, then you know. Don't stand here, then very confusing we're like which song was that again <laughs> and you have you to play, be like a barbecue tonight and you have to play an instrument at the same time so yes uh, that doesn't yes. make it any easier yeah so how do uh, when you putting together a stage deal for a tour mm-hmm. how does that even come together i mean uh, it starts with an idea um something influences something uh and and i don't want to give much away because it's like opening mm-hmm, night and all mm-hmm. but um we're gonna give it away anywhere we're gonna give it away here on the eagle right <laughs> so um it started with an idea which was uh we love the whole carnival thing the whole sideshow thing it's really uh it really is a thing for motley crew that we've always liked we've liked the the whole uh element of the traveling circus and we've always felt like a bit of a circus and with our entourage and um, it started with that kind of a, uh, almost like a Ferris wheel concept is where it's like going in a circle and that circle was the thing that you'll see tonight that keeps happening throughout the show. You will see this, this circle that everything kind of works out of and there's, there's two of them and one's like 60 feet and one's 30 feet and there's everything in them from people to drums to fire to girls to blood to, it's it's pretty intense and uh, the road crew it's been my it's been mind-blowing I mean, the amount of hours that they've put in and uh, we had um god i think we've been here for five six days in the same venue mm-hmm. you know running through it every night and different things and programming lights and video and then of course offline we're like watching you know downloading the videos and editing the videos and putting them back on the big screen and uh, then you got to get the lights to run at the same time as the pyro, as the video, as where the band can and can't be. And we got to be able to play good, you know. So it, it's a big production, and, and we're right, really right. proud to put on a show like that. In 2011, we feel that, you know, now more than ever, it's, it's, uh, you got to step it up. Mm-hmm. You have so many, uh, you know, ways to listen to music, you know, you have so many ways to, to view, um, uh, television, whether it's on the internet or through your 500 stations you have at home, mm-hmm. you know why do people want to leave their house, you know, and and go see a band when they can just listen to it on Pandora or right. listen to it on the radio? So our thing is let's get people out of their house because they have no choice. They have no choice but to see something this outrageous. It's like Cirque, so- Cirque du Soleil. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to go see it or you're not going to experience it. That is crazy. Now. It- You've been doing this a long time. Uh, yeah. Do you still get like nervous before the show? Are you uh, uh, excited? What's I woke. Some... I went to bed at. Uh, I think I went to bed at four, and I woke up by eight thirty, and was ready to go on stage. I was like, "Come on, can we go?" <laughs> was, well, this is probably. Really, yeah, you're probably getting to the point now where you're like, "Oh man, just uh, yeah, I'm tired. Three hours, yeah, uh, two yeah, hours, yeah yeah, 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 just like count down." But then I wait. saw I saw the guys in the dolls walking around. Mm-hmm. And I went up and I saw Poison sound checking, so I saw them. So, you know, it's, it's you get the energies, you know, building and just saw the merch booth. When you were here, you saw me go over and yeah, see the yeah. merch booth and all the buses are pulling up and it's starting to, it's starting to feel starting like to go. It. And now I'm sitting here on the radio with you and it's, Carrie's here. Yeah. It's awesome. Carrie, I'm kidnapping Carrie and taking her on the road for a little bit. That's what I hear. She's yeah. a great co-host. She's, uh, you know, been she's a great co-host. Yeah. So we'll see if she's a good bus partner. <laughs> we'll see we're if gonna she snores. The, there, there's, yeah, if you snore, oh. <laughs> You're out. You're out. You'll be let, left in Austin on We're the way to San Antonio. You know, when, you, when you have a co-host, you you find out um, quirks, yeah. right? Those yeah. things. I know I do things that probably annoy the hell out of her. So um, I'm probably we're going to find out more about each other. You know, it'll probably be like, God, 
Nikki really doesn't shower. <laughs> like it was going to become a reality. Or yeah, Carrie really does watch the knife show. Or whatever it is. <laughs> the knife show. She doesn't have a microphone, so she can't defend herself. No, herself. this is awesome. This yes, is this is perfect. We're going to pay for it later, though. I'll yes, <laughs> yes, I have a feeling. <laughs> well, Nikki, thank you for dropping by, man. Of we course, appreciate man. it. I'll, appreciate I'll stop it. by throughout the night. or Excellent. Once there's a bunch of fans in here, um, I don't know if I can come out here, but maybe you can pop back in the dressing room. We'll do it, man. Yeah. Nikki we, Six. little pre-show ritual. Nikki Six. We'll see him tonight. Motley okay. Crue, the first night of the big tour at the Jex Energy Pavilion, all part of BFD here on 97.1. Yes. The Eagle.